Uh, I'm Glaive. Polo Perks. We're gonna play tennis, and I'm gonna ask him some questions, and it's gonna be a, a fucking beautiful day. It's like fucking a million degrees. Yeah. So, uh, obviously, we were just on tour. This is your first like tour, tour, right? Yeah. What is the what's like uh, the general consensus? I guess. Oh no, it was fun. Like I will say, like your fan base is like one of the best fan bases I've ever had to like perform to. I mean, like as far as like the shows and shit, like the worst shows for me was like L.A. L.A. was like <laughs> the worst one. This was like where I was like, we are like in two different worlds. Like this is crazy. Like when I walk out into the same city where like I would sell out a show in my own like my own realm, and then like everyone's just like. <laughs> <laughs> dead serious face like who are you i'm like whoa i'm not in the same city yeah. so there literally was like people who are like polo fans people who are glade fans people who are like oh, everybody's fans are separate but then like everyone getting in one room it's like some rooms like yeah my fans can like get like get with your fans and, like yeah you feel me? but some other rooms they're like where is glade <laughs> like, so so on this on the tour i was thinking like the question of like life is blank like my answer became that life is balance. What do you think life is, Polo Perks? It's kind of a fucking deep question. We really just like drove across the country, all homies, like seen the whole, seen the whole America, performed in front of thousands of people, and like at one point of all of this, like we have to just die. I feel like, I don't know, life ain't, life is jokes. <laughs> That's beautiful, life is jokes. Well, I've already told you this a few times, but I'm just a big, I was a big fan. I've been a, bruh, this is crazy. I don't even know if I should say this. But I was like, damn, probably 13, listening to y'all making music. When you were my age, 18, what was going on in the, in the life of Polo Parks? There was just so much going on in my life, like just being like a knucklehead and just like getting locked up and shit like that. So it was just like so much like going on. I will say this, like I admire how you live your life at 18. <laughs> what if you, okay, so what if you were in love with a girl and she was perfect in every way? But except for the fact that she uh, was addicted to heroin. Repeat that. What if one day you woke up and you were a woman? What would you do? Would you be like, what would you do? I'd let the homies crack. Is that what you're saying you would do? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd probably kick it with my sister for like a week straight. Uh-huh. What about, what do you think about open relationships? You get it down happens. with that or no? It happens. <clears throat> but like, okay, so your girl is like, she's, 10 out of 10, beautiful. You've been in love with her for five years. She's like, we can get married, but we gotta be in an open relationship. I done cut off all my hoes. Like, we <laughs> just got married. Like, come on, bro. Like, if that's the case, we should have did that before. That's fair enough. If she just like, that's like me hitting her out of nowhere. Like, you know what? I know it's our honeymoon, but I want to bust your friend down. What, what kind of got you listening to like, Alex G and like Midwest emo music like just, what how did that how did that how did that come about just like I don't know shit get boring sometimes listen to the same shit uh, last night I had to driving all over the country listen to the same music like I just listened to some like troll ass song that was like literally horrible but I listened to it 10 times back to back just to like listen to something different Midwest emo and everything like that's stuck onto me right now. Right now, I'm trying to like get out of it because I'm going like psycho listening to it. <laughs> Dude, it makes you depressed as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you want to listen to that shit makes you want to kill Yeah, myself. it really does. So I'm trying to like get the fuck out of that. Like, but for right now, that's cool. All right, would you be mad at your girl if you lost your arm and your legs and she left you? <laughs> yeah, well, low key. Well, okay, the question then is like if, if the roles were reversed. If my girlfriend had no arms and legs, like, is this fucked up to say? I would leave her, bruh. I'm not like that's I don't know. I don't think that's crazy. Feel like I could get a girlfriend with arms and legs. I don't think that's crazy. Like I don't know. I guess well how did she lose her arms and legs? Like if she was like I don't know. I guess there's no she good. She lost answer. some cheating on you. Oh. Well. <laughs> 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 how did that fucking happen, bro? So what made you like want to make music? Like is it is like that just because where I'm from it's not part of the culture at all. Like like there's nobody making music, but I'd imagine that in New York there are people making music. So is it just like a natural thing or were you? I've been making music when making music was not cool. Like mm -hmm. you get made fun of. Like this is like an actual time in life. Like when SoundCloud wasn't involved, it really wasn't like too, it wasn't like too much like you could really like do or like even go out and like gain an audience. So like once I like came home out of jail, I literally was just like, all right, fuck it. I'm not gonna go back to the Bronx because like I'm just gonna end up doing the same shit and getting locked up in the same place. So fuck that. I went back to Connecticut and my homie was just like, bro, like you gotta get back to it. Like 
got this big ass MacBook, got all the equipment just like record. And I like stayed there for like five months recording and like going out every weekend, party, 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 filming all the parties, mashing all the clips up and then like music video. Like, so that like really like pushed me to see like, okay, like there is something into this, like even more than like before. Cause I was just using music to just like talk on dumb shit. Like, <laughs> Damn, yeah, I don't you, think I could date a girl. If it wasn't music, what would you like have been doing? I don't know. I'd be thinking, I think about it a lot. I wanted to be a vet, like a veterinary surgeon. Okay. With like animals and shit. But I don't think I could have done that. Or probably a bum. Like I'm really just a, like a, like a, a real like a loser. I'm like a loser in disguise. A real Like I would have just played video games all day. I probably never would have got a job. Really? I mean, maybe I'm lying to myself, but I guess, I don't know. I really like, like music, but I don't, I never really liked anything else that much what about you what if you were if you didn't do music what would <sighs> uh -huh. yeah uh if i didn't do music probably be a fucking construction worker a construction worker hell yeah like okay i can see you being a lawyer uh, i feel like you're very well spoken and you're just like uh oh uh oh what happened, Twain? What did he say? Boss, well, open the gate. I can't hear you. I'm Glaive. Um, I'm 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 Fall of Hearts. Yeah, for today, for yeah, right yeah. now, he's Fall of Hearts. Yeah, yeah. And this is this was we play tennis. This is that's that was us playing tennis and talking. 